Elon Musk may have revived his bid for Twitter, but what will the deal mean for the broader social media space and specifically the digital advertising landscape? Here with us on set to discuss that is the Trade Desk CEO, Jeff Green, a longtime fan of Fast Money. The company uh, just held its investor day yesterday. In fact, the day I think you went public. You came straight up to this desk and introduced yourself. So, I did. I'm yeah. a big fan of the show, so thank you for having me. Oh, finally able to be on the show. So thank exactly. You. Well, welcome, Jeff. Great to have you, you with us. Um, so we, we hear all of these anecdotal stories about slowdowns in advertising. So what are, what are you seeing at this point? So uh, I've long been an advocate that we need something like the VIX in advertising. Now, it wouldn't move quite as often as the VIX does in the equities markets. But if we did have a VIX for advertising, it would be at an all-time high in the sense that there's a lot of anxiety. And it's caused by the same things that are causing anxiety on this desk, which is uh, what is the Fed going to do? What is that going to have for impact throughout the entire uh, uh, economy? And CMOs are just looking at what their CFO is going to do and saying, how do I become more responsive? And what that typically means is that they're trying to be, do more with less, uh -huh. and that means that they're spending in things that they can see an ROI in, and that's been very good for our business, even though the overall economy is clearly facing some headwinds. So basically, and I don't, I don't want to put words in your mouth, but uh, if a company is trying to be much more careful, uh, careful about their ad spend, they might lean on you more in order to use that ad spend more wisely, more effectively? Exactly. So uh, when you have to do more with less, you have to become more data-driven. And there are parts of advertising that are still not data-driven at all, where there's just a lot of guessing that goes into it. But there are parts of it that you can measure really effectively. And there's a whole bunch of new inventory and changes that are happening. We talked about social a little bit. But to me, the most exciting one is in connected television and streaming, mm -hmm. where there's a lot coming in that direction and there's a lot of opportunity, which has become the biggest opportunity and biggest secular tailwind for our business. The launch of ad-supported platforms is, is huge. Are you seeing demand um, for placement already onto these platforms? And are there certain kinds of platforms that do better than others? Absolutely. So, uh, uh, you know, five years ago, I basically said that we're betting our business on CTV. I said that at the day of our IPO, uh, uh, um, and it has absolutely come true. So that's already been true for us. CTV where CTV meaning connected. Connected TV, television. Yeah. yeah. So anything that is streaming, so the Hulus of the world, the Peacocks. Uh, but of course, uh, last year we heard from three of the very biggest, or over the last year rather, we've heard from three of the biggest in Netflix, HBO, and Disney Plus. And with all of those in Q1 having significant additions to AVOD, that represents one of the biggest secular tailwinds in the history of our business mm -hmm. and big opportunities for advertisers to finally bring precision to television advertising that has historically been more guessing and less precise. Jeff, when we first met on the set, I mean, listen, as you know from watching the show, I'm not the brightest bulb in the fixture, but I figured <laughs> you're just another trading desk. I'm like, what? You know, we don't need it. But I've come to learn, obviously, nothing but. but you know, you would think intuitively this environment is actually probably not good for you. I would submit this is probably some of the best environments your business finds itself in. I don't think the stock is being rewarded for it, but can you speak to that? Uh, you're absolutely right. I, I mean, since the pandemic, our stock is up 300 percent. But in terms of the potential of our stock and certainly what's happened to tech recently, we've been hurt just like so many of the rest. Uh, uh, but in terms of the potential, we're in this really amazing position, which is that if there's more pressure on the consumer, then they are much more interested in the AVOD solutions or the advertising on demand. In other words, they're selecting the ads rather than paying a premium to get rid of them. And so if there's pressure on the consumer, they're going to see more ads, and that creates more opportunity for us to add value to the biggest advertisers in the world. So in an economic slowdown, they need us more. And if things are great, they need us too. So in any condition, I think we're doing really well. Um, you're an active trader yourself. You enjoy trading stocks and all sorts of things. So just quickly, do you agree with Grasso that oil is headed to 65 or Guy uh, <laughs> that oil is headed higher? I think oil is heading higher. <laughs> I, right. uh, and I'm holding positions uh, that reinforce that. So I believe that. I'm putting my money where my mouth is. I think it's going higher. All right, Jeff, great to see you. Thank you so Come much. Come by any time, Jeff Green of uh, the Trade Desk. Steve Grasso. Voted against you. What do you think of what do you think of trade desk? Yeah, I think I think 
I think I think Jeff's got to stick to advertising space. Let's <laughs> stick to where his uh, core competency is instead of instead of uh, investing in energy. I do like this name, and I think Guy brings up a great point. I, when you when you look at the ad space, think about what all these streaming uh, uh, the entities are doing now. They're all adding an advertising element. So Jeff's business is only going to grow. And a couple of months ago, he shocked uh, he shocked people to the upside. Stock traded up 40%. He's probably got another couple of rabbits in his hat, too, for that stock.